guys, I'm Trinidad back here again. So, um, tonight I want to go over one of my pet decks. I have three of them. Uh, this is one of my favorite decks of all time. Uh, Necros. It's a pure variant. It doesn't include Dark Manica or the, uh, Incantations or anything of that nature. So, um, let's get ready to give you my thoughts on this. So, this is what I would play. Not top tier <laughs> at all. It's one of my favorite decks. So let's get right into it. Uh, three unicorn. Can't go wrong with this card. You can discard it to add a Necroz back out of your grave. Um, when you summon it, it does shut down the effects of all extra deck monsters. It's only 2300, but if you can keep it alive, you're pretty golden. Uh, three Brionic. This card, when it gets summoned, it can spin back two extra deck monsters, I believe, to the deck. Um, or you can discard it to search out a Necro's monster. Two Possilus. This is your spell sorcerer. You can find the uh, spells necessary to ritual summon monsters. Um, as well as it has a pretty crazy effect on it. to have an opponent have a card in the field here, but on some of you can banish them. So you can banish one of the hand, one from the field, and one from the field. <coughs> uh, Malkris, this guy can end the battle phase when you discard him. He's a must at one of uh, 3300. Can get over a lot of good creatures nowadays. So can't go wrong with that. And last but not least, the Sarvis. The discard effect to negate proposed uh, opponent's card targeting one of your monsters and then being able to bring it back out of the way. It's pretty nice. So, Sipping the Necros and the Sarvis. I wouldn't really change the ratios right now. I thought it would try this deck in any kind of turn, especially, but uh, if I were to play it, these are the ratios I'd play it. So, yep. Uh, let's go to the monsters. Play three Manju, can switch out of your small little necklace monster you need. Three Sanju, or two Sanju, sorry. Switches out of the monster, and then one sure. shot. Uh, I know this card came off the game, this. Gosh, this like deck profile is a big uh, nostalgia run for me. I remember when these cards were like 25 bucks each and now they're kind of crazy. Um, but searches out any level 7 or virtual monster and if you have a virtual spell and you need, you can grab that spell as well. Kaleidoscope. This is a ritual spell that has special summons by using monsters from your next deck. I think they all have a simulation that you can use monsters on your field, but this one prioritizes extra deck. Great card to go into Unicorn Life. Two, the Cycle. This allows you to special those monsters at the grid. This lets you special summon a monster by using monster story on it. So combo with Shirt, Banish Shirt, Special Lab, Trisha Lab, hit a coin, and then Shirt grabs you another warrior. So, pretty great. But yeah, that's it for the engine. Um, I know a lot of people haven't really seen this. Uh, this is old school, but uh, it's one of my favorite decks. I love love it love it to death so um 
I like all the ratios of where they're at right now, but yeah, pretty fun deck, guys. Give it a try sometime. So, non engine cards Ash, of course, uh, Nip. You need it with your opponent just because of how crazy special songs are nowadays. This deck can't really keep up with that, so you need something that can slow your opponent down to where you can just hopefully. Track it, decks, hate. Uh, right now, it's better to banish, especially the Unchained Traps. Um, as I said before, this is my floodgate that I'm going with right now, just because if I can only get Trishula out and I can stop my opponent summoning more than twice, usually Trishula is enough to just hold on. So. And then, of course, going first, the obligatory units. So, um, again, like I said, it's nothing crazy, it's not, I don't even think it's viable right now, um, but who knows, it's a 25-30 deck format, so if you want to take this to a tournament one day and just have fun, that's kind of what I would do with this. Um, I have a few decks that I would do that with, that I'll probably mess around with until we get a list. Um, yeah, 
but that's my thoughts and opinions on it, guys. Nothing, nothing too in deep or anything like that. Sorry if you guys are looking for a more serious tech profile on Necroz. I just don't take them seriously right now. Um, unless we see a 2013 type ban list where it's just like everything gets hit. Uh, decks like this just can't survive turn one. So <clears throat> that's it for me, guys, tonight. Sorry, I'm a bit under the weather. Hoping to get my voice back here pretty soon. But yeah, be kind, be respectful of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good night.